Welcome to Colorado. After picking up our van, we went to celebrate the best way possible, pizza. On our way to Rocky Mountain National Park, we stopped over for an afternoon in the cute little town of Idaho Springs, where we did some shopping and hit up Bojo's Pizza before spending our first night in the van in a parking lot. Good morning. We woke up here in Evergreen, Colorado. We stayed actually in the parking lot of this uh, restaurant. It is El Rancho in Evergreen, and it's actually a part of Harvest Host. And we got to stay in their parking lot for free. And let me tell you guys, the brisket queso is awesome. If you're ever in this time in this area, get the brisket queso. Happy delivery. Thanks. Right now, Rocky Mountain National Park is only letting in a select number of people every day. There are just too many tourists in the area, and so you have to reserve a timed entry to be able to come in. And yesterday we were able to reserve for today an entry that got us in from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. this morning, and then we can stay the rest of the day. So we came in through the visitor center nearest to Estes Park, and we will spend the day looking around. And our first stop here is to see some bighorn sheep. I just saw a breathtaking view. The little creek uh, going down the mountain and then just the view. So I'm walking back to see if I can snag a picture of it. This mountain air is so good for the soul. It smells amazing out here. <sighs> also, let's just acknowledge how intense the higher altitude is. <sighs> it's a bit rainy. We found some snow and it is July. We are definitely above the tree line because it we went from having really tall evergreen trees to basically just little shrubs and like mosses and grasses. There are no trees up here. He's coming straight back. It's quite busy out here right now. The national parks are just full. The parking lots have all been pretty full and there's just lots of people around, which is great. People are out enjoying the natural beauty that America has to offer, but it does make it hard to um, kind of find the secluded spots. 
This is the Forest Canyon Overlook. And I'm really cold. You can see the tree line down there. We only have one day in Rocky Mountain National Park this time. And so we chose, because we have such a big car, to go along the Trail Ridge Road, which just basically goes across east and west, across the park. I feel like you get to see so much by just sticking to that one road. Pizza. All of our unopened packages have basically doubled in size because of the altitude. This is like so puppy. Hi. We are now at the stop called Lava Cliffs, and this is the farthest we're going into the park today. Just kidding. We decided to continue on the mile to the next, I don't know, visitor center, and oh, oh this altitude's getting me. We decided we'd hike up to the top of this little outlook, and then we'll turn around and head back. I live at sea level, so 12,000 feet is kicking my butt. Also, we saw some elk down there. This trail and this visitor center is only accessible four and a half months out of the year because otherwise this is just covered in snow. I saw a picture of the visitor center uh, in winter and it was basically like completely covered with snow drifts. So summer is very short here but it's, it still doesn't feel like summer. It's so cold. It's so windy. And that wraps up our day here in Rocky Mountain National Park. We were only able to get our tickets last night, so we weren't really even sure we were gonna be here. It was an awesome day, and we are really looking forward to hopefully coming back and getting to explore here sometime in the near future.